Matthew says, I know that an email violated a transport rule for bad attachments, but I cannot determine what file type actually violated the rule. Extended reports offers no insight and message headers do not include this information. Without a defender license, how can I gain further insight into what was the violating file type? That's a great question. Uh, the transport rules themselves. Basically, what you would want to work to do would be to go look at the. Um, oh, come on here. Where did I just put that? Um, you need to search the, the tracking logs and uh, you can do that with PowerShell and a search of that type will show you um, basically when that rule, when a rule fired on that particular message uh, in, in the in the queue of things. Uh, once you know what rule that is, then you can go have a look at the rule itself. Inside the rule itself, there should be some wording as to what kind of attachments attachment it was <clears throat> set up to catch. And uh, from that, you should then be able to determine what kind of a, an attachment it was that, that triggered the rule. That's, Not being not being an exchange admin is that does it usually with a with it when you create a new policy does it have like your include exclude um you know attributes the file types things like that or is it more of a a, a, a well it's here's an example of, of one here if the message is sent to so and so and is received by so and so take the following action and Add something to it. In this case, what what the what this this example rule I've got here adds the word "very important message" to the uh, to the uh, subject matter. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, if this message is sent to so and so, and it is actually received by so and by somebody, it would see yeah, if it's sent to yeah, 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 it's received by somebody else. Take the take the appropriate action. In this case, it's added, appended very important to it. So in a rule like this, it's going to be if you receive a message that's got such and such an attachment, uh, violate the, 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 or don't send the message, or what was his complaint thing here? Uh, well, it doesn't tell me what it actually happened when the rule was violated. The uh, question that Matthew asks doesn't say specifically what happened, but well, in this instance, you're not. You're, yeah. In this instance, you're, you're you're not. You don't particularly need to know that. Yeah, what That's you're talking about is that we we've, we've got the uh, so we have the. Uh, an article uh, written by uh, Paul Cunningham over on Practical 365. So that's over, well, we've got the link here in the body. That's yes. what you're referring to. Yeah, Precisely, that. yeah. And uh, and that will tell you what rule, from looking at the logs, you can figure out what rule got triggered. And from that, you can go look at the rule itself and that rule should tell you what attachment triggered it. And that's a lot simpler than uh, trying to uh, look through extended reports or message headers or any of that sort. Is that just uh, to view those uh, transport rules? Is that just in the, uh, yeah, that's just in the admin portal on mail flow section and, and then go in and review those? Yes. Sorry, was that too short an answer? No, no, that's that's good. I was actually looking for, and then the like a good link to share of of uh, going in there and and seeing where those are. There's a, yeah, I actually have. I just found it here. Um, See, so yeah, all I heard was violating, 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 yeah, violating. Oh, la, 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 violating. Yeah. You need to call the police here. <laughs> violating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh well. Here. I, 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 I just... Over my head, hell, <laughs> way over my head. Go you. Oh, it's, it's, hell, yeah, hell, it's a, hell is a hell. Hell is a person of few words, but when he does talk, he knows his stuff. Boy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this instance, like I say, you don't need to know what the attachment was from the standpoint of the way that you're going about looking at it. You need to find out from the logs which role was fired, and from there, go look at the rule. The rule will tell you what words caused it to fire. Yeah. And from that, you should be able to return, determine what, what attachment was involved in fairly straight order.
just ignore me. Uh, delete. It's not. We usually delete. do. We usually do ignore you. So we're just. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>